Vacation Resorts, phone 888-784-7064. Mostly sunny skies expected for your Monday with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s today, a northeast wind 5 to 10. Partly to mostly clear overnight in the low 60s. There's a chance of a few showers Tuesday, partly to mostly cloudy in the low to mid 70s. And mid to upper 70s Wednesday, partly to mostly cloudy with isolated showers. Jonesboro's community radio station, we're KLEK 102.5 FM. From Feature Story News in London, I'm Ollie Barrett. Parts of the Florida Keys are reopening to residents and business owners after Hurricane Irma caused a mass evacuation. Turkey has signed a controversial deal with Moscow to buy Russian S-400 anti-aircraft missiles. And the United Nations Security Council has unanimously adopted a new set of sanctions against North Korea, which are its toughest to date. It's 901. Community Conversations is brought to you by Arkansas Early Learning, offering no-cost child care in Jonesboro in Northeast Arkansas. Applications at arearlylearning.org. Arkansas Early Learning is a nonprofit organization. KLEK LP Jonesboro, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council. It's now time for Community Conversations, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of KLEK 102.5 FM, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council, or our underwriters or sponsors. All right, good morning everyone out there and happy Tuesday to you all. It's a little wet out, but we're going to make the best of it anyway. That's right. So um, I hope you all are having a great day. Um, You're tuned in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. I'm your host, Quibila Hardin. My special guests are here again. Um, They've been here before and I really enjoyed them. We didn't get to go through everything, so I want to give them opportunity to share more. And then we want to get into some discipline topics as well because we didn't get to get into that the last time but they are from hippie arkansas we have miss vicky sorry vicky o'connor um miss dinah marshall good morning and miss cynthia jeffrey good morning all right so we're going to jump right into you know our topic for today and we're going to first start off though with some of the literacy the information that the parents get when you first get them signed up, you know, they're set up as a family. Right. Okay, so, but if, when you get them signed up, set up, I'm sorry, I don't know the process, um, you do what you call an ASQ. Mm-hmm. Okay, so can you all please explain what that is? Um, the ASQ is an ages and stages questionnaire, and it's just a series of questions to see where the child is developmental. Okay. Um, it's determined by their age in months and days. So, uh, if they're three years old it would be 36 months but okay it, um, and um, it goes through uh, the social and emotional uh, aspect gross motor fine motor um, problem solving personally personal emotion and, and the personal okay um, and it's just a series of questions and activities that they do and it's rated and scored and if they score, you know, like our center, if they are lacking in one area, we can refer them to uh, therapy to get okay. help with, in that area. Okay. All right. So then once you go get through all of that and determine where the child is, then you start out with these packets. Right. The hippie curriculum. Okay. So um, this one says year one, week one. Mm-hmm. And under the domains, it says... Uh, there's five different activities literacy math science motor and language and so there's also a section that explains what the parents can expect under each one of these lessons yes it does and Mm -hmm. so each lesson is one week no i'm sorry this Mm -hmm. is week one so Uh you do all this no no it is the packet lasts a whole week oh okay Uh uh-huh and they do they do uh about maybe five to ten minutes depending on the child's attention span with their child the parent does that is okay i see so you visit the parent on one day of the week yes and then they are to continue these activities throughout the week yes Mm -hmm. Uh so when you come back again 
that yep. should have the packet filled out. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. And we'll go, we'll go through the packet with them, make sure that they didn't have any questions, or if they have any questions, if they had words that they didn't understand, we'll explain it to them, and then we get back what we call a pool page. And a pool page is kind of like the homework for the child. Okay. And then it's also our accountability. Um, everybody has to be accountable for um, the work that we're doing. So okay. um, we turn it in. You know, we make sure we create a portfolio. Okay. Right? Um, we we're able to track that the growth of the child. You know, when you begin, you're here. You may have only been able to draw a straight line. But by the end of the year, you may be able to write your whole first name. You know well, what I'm saying? So we just kind of track it through the pool pages. And when you visit with the parents and the children, do you get a sense of excitement from the child? Can you tell that the parent is engaging <laughs> in the activities or when, or when they are and when they're not? I think each parent is different. Because yeah. okay. um, there are some parents that welcome us into the home and they want to do it. We have this thing called role play. Okay. And role play is where you we will be the child and they'll be the parent or we can switch it up. They okay. can be the parent and we can be the child. So we actually go through each page with them. Okay. And uh, some of the role play is like jumping, hopping, skipping, crawling, and they don't necessarily have to do that, but we as home-based eds, we will demonstrate that activity for them. Okay. And I think we kind of hit on that before, you know, and sometimes it can be a little, I guess the word I'm going to use is lame for us to be <laughs> okay. um, jumping up and down, but the, the key is if we're active and we get excited about it, then the parent will get excited about okay. it. If the parent is excited about it, then the children will be excited about yes, it. They, yeah. they follow <laughs> what they see. They follow what they see. So if we're excited, if the parent is excited, then it'll trickle down to the child. Okay. Exactly. Alrighty, so let's talk about a few of these um, it, um, shoot <laughs> activities. Like in the first one, it says literacy, where spot? And there's a book that goes along with it. Yes. So talk about how do you engage with the child and the parent and use the book do you who actually reads the book uh, well we as home based educators we read the book to the parent because okay. this is what you we want you to do with your child mm -hmm. when your child comes in we're very animated with the reading <laughs> now, not very our parents animated with the reading <laughs> yeah, so much not, our, not our parents are animated animated That's but right. we read to the parents and that book where is spot is a hit yeah. It stays in their life, I think, forever. So okay. It comes back up. Mm -hmm. But that's the pop-up book, and it asks yes and no questions. It's fine hiding behind the rug. And it, the, you know, they'll open, no, he's not behind the rug. So at the very end, Spot finds his mom, which is Sally. Okay. So, and then we'll talk about that and ask, ask open-ending questions inside of the packet with the parent. Oh, that's, that's a very cute. easy book to get animated with. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's really cute. I'm loving how... Like it says, is he behind the door? So you, you kind of is make he your... behind the door? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's kind of like the animation part. Okay, and we, we like do. being dramatic, so yes, we, <laughs> we kind of go for that one. <laughs> this is really cute. I was gonna say, um, it encourages the kid, the children, to read as well because it's so simple and it's so many. It's a, more pictures than words. Okay, and so after the children will have read the book maybe once or twice they can go back and read it themselves you know they can say is spot behind the door no spot <laughs> not behind the door you know and they'll go back and then you can encourage them to read the book to you because it's it's simple enough for them to be able to do that and i think from my perspective you know i don't have little ones anymore I just see it as helping them recognize objects. Absolutely. Um, like, Absolutely. Uh, different parts of the house, rug, basket, uh, box, mm -hmm. and the different things that are in the book. Mm -hmm. It helps them actually put a name to an mm -hmm. object. Exactly. So when they're communicating with their parent, they can say, you know, my clothes are in, whatever, mom, can I have something out of what I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's just me. <laughs> no, you're correct. Go ahead, and I was gonna say, um, I don't know if we'll get a chance to talk about this later, so I'm gonna take this plug now. Okay. Um, one of the things one of my parents actually got a chance to do last year is she took um, 
just a piece of paper mm-hmm. and some tape and um like for instance box or basket she would actually write basket oh. on the basket so not only did they see a basket but they would see the word basket and they could associate it so now um it's gone into a different level of even sight words That's and so cool. the children begin to recognize words when they see them because they can identify with the picture that is yes. wonderful. Yes, ma'am. All right, we have one a uh, few Facebook shout outs. Um, Mr. Chu is watching, and Tara Newman Carter, and Lorray Williams Tree says, Thank you. So I'm guessing either she's been a part yes. of your program. Okay. And we know Tara from Fullness. Yes, all right. Fullness. Thank Fullness. you. It's a joy. Mm-hmm. And there's several other people watching, but I can't see who they are. So we thank <laughs> you all for who all is tuning in. I hope that you're taking notes and getting something out of this. If you are the caregiver of a little person, <laughs> or you have little ones in your home, you're the parent of, or you know someone who has little ones that are coming up before they go to kindergarten, please turn them on to this program. Yes, yes. ma'am. Um, Very essential. It is very very mm-hmm. essential to their learning their early learning um they need to get as much in as possible so when they get to kindergarten they're already yes. mm-hmm. um okay so there's some more literacy oh there's some coloring pages mm-hmm. for spot and some other um activities that go along with the book okay for activity two math numbers and counting mm-hmm. that's my favorite okay mm-hmm. so tell us more about that one um it's just math numbers and counting is basically just helping them um, begin to identify um, their math skills. Of course, actually I had a visit with a parent yesterday and she was like, math and science? Oh my gosh, I'm not ready for that. And I was, you know, I just reassured her that there was nothing to be concerned about. Um, with children between the ages of three and five, we're basically starting them at the very basic concept of counting. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And um, one of the coolest things you can do with children is to help them um, become patient. You know, I don't know if you've ever been around a child and tell them to count the uh, pennies on the table. They go, one, two, three, four, seven, ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's helping them to slow down and focus and, you know, touch. And so um, one of the things we do is we have the pen to have the child touch their hand. So when you're counting five fingers, it would be one, two, three, four, five. And okay. so, yeah, and it helps them to slow down. And it helps them to um, concentrate on what they're doing. It helps them to be able to um, actually... One-on-one one on one Yeah, yeah, one-on-one on one correspondence and embrace what they're trying to get accomplished wow. in them. Okay, so I see also there's... It also helps them... I mean, it all so it encourages them, like point to your mouth. Yes, ma'am. How many do you have? Point to your nose, point yes, to your ma'am. eyes and ears. So mm-hmm. it's helping them to recognize body parts, mm-hmm. um, count, and maybe use counting in all aspects of their lives. Mm-hmm. Like if they were to look at that fish Absolutely. tank over there, how Absolutely. many fish are in the tank? Mm-hmm. You know, how many green yeah. ones or how many. Yeah. Whatever level you are, they are, and you are How with many it. Cars yeah, that's what I was saying. I, was yeah. like, I still do that. If, yeah. I tra- if I'm traveling, yes, I, I find myself counting cars. Like yes, one, you know, yes, like ma'am. the fifth car would be my dream car. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, oh wow! All right, so that's mad, and then wow. So there's a lot of activities enough to keep them busy. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. I see one that's. Uh, you hide some fingers again. Something about hiding fingers. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so getting them to, I guess, conceptualize what's missing, what's right. present. Um, you put your hands behind your back. Okay. And then you'll come up with two fingers yeah. or three, and then they will tell you how many you're holding up. So it's kind of like a hide and seek with fingers, but you just tell me what the number is that yes, I'm holding ma'am. up. Okay. So that help take the kid away from trying to memorize and develop yeah, patterns yeah. versus yes, actually focusing on what's yes, in okay. front of them. Because I know one issue I had with my son when he was younger doing vocabulary words, he would learn the words in order. And when he took the test, he would not make a good grade. But when we quiz him at home, he got it right. So we had to learn, me and his grandma had to learn, okay, we need to switch him up when we're teaching him. I used to teach him straight in order how they were on the paper, but I was... I was the problem. <laughs> um, but once I learned how he learns, I was able to help learn, help him learn in a little bit different way. Exactly. So, and that's why a hippie is important because we do supply the tools to the parents. It's like common things that are in your home that you would right. never think right. that the child could learn. That's for right. it's counting cups, counting glasses, mm-hmm. counting plates. Mm-hmm. And, and then back to uh, your spelling words. 
always try to find a word. You can break down words. Okay. Let's just say if it's Batman, you know, B-A-T, and then man, you put it together. Back when I was in school, those were called compound words. Okay. So, I don't know what they call it. It's still <laughs> maybe compound words. I don't know. Okay. So, helping them just understand things on a different level, different levels. Yes. And just trying to hopefully give them the best start before they get to kindergarten. Right, right. All right, so the activity three is science my body. Mm-hmm. All right, so what um, do you all do? Like, let's see, in this particular activity, it says you'll need large piece of paper, the length of the child, markers, crayons, scissors, and full length mirrors. Are you helping them to get to learn their body? Mm-hmm. Okay. Go okay. ahead, <laughs> it's, it's just basically... Tell this is one of our favorites. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. You know, I told you one of the things I shared with my parent yesterday was not to be overwhelmed at the word science. Because okay. science is basically, you know, the study of the body or, you know, the study of organisms. Okay. But when we start, we're just talking about your body. You have two eyes. You have two hands. And okay. so we want them to begin to um, just view themselves and so with this particular activity um they are actually get an opportunity to draw themselves they get to lay on the floor oh. and do a life-size um body drawing of themselves okay. or a trace out of themselves okay and i see one of the things it says in the uh, what the child will learn from this activity when children learn about their bodies they develop self-awareness mm-hmm. uh, my body the My Body series begins with the whole body and will build up on each activity. Mm-hmm. Your child will discover more about the parts of the body during the next few weeks. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so arms, hands, tummy, legs, yes, feet, ma'am. just your basics. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, getting ma'am. to know who they are so mm-hmm. they can put a name mm-hmm. to a thing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And then, and I think it may be unit two or curriculum number two or packet we, number we two. two. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. They start to <laughs> Create the body. Do mm-hmm. they put the eyes on there with things that you have around the house for as cotton balls? Yes, ma'am. If they have some old clothes, yes, ma'am. they can put the old shirt on them or, you mm-hmm. know, some pants. They can draw the pants. So at the end of week four, it becomes a person. A you whole can see person. person. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And they can hang it on the wall and go mm-hmm. up and give it a name. If it's not, you know, they can name it Cynthia. They can name it <laughs> Dinah. You know, they can name it whatever they choose to name that person. And okay. it really helps to embrace to um, get those wheels to turn with their creative thinking. When children have the ability to be creative in their thinking, they can achieve anything. Yes, right. ma'am. Anything. Yes, ma'am. So I don't want to, um, we're getting down to our time here. Um, I want to go through some more, but I just want to at least highlight what people can expect, what the parents can expect in these packets. Um, there's even some motor skill activities. Yes. Um, how important is it to get the child up and move? Um, in today's society, it is extremely, yes, important, extremely because important most of our kids are technology. They yep. want, they video want that games, video games, TV, yes. right, PlayStation, right. Right. Xbox. Yes, yes. Um, and we try to motivate, get out there and move. Right. You that's know, right. work those big muscle skills, that's work right. those small uh, muscle skills, you know, okay. throw that ball, kick that ball, you know, do some running, do some hopping, do some skipping and jumping. That's still very important. That's, that's right. still very important. That's right. And that's like us as home-based educators, getting up and moving and demonstrating this stuff that's and right. not being intimidated. Right. By it. So the parents will then in turn maybe do the same thing with their child. So then the child's up and moving. Yeah. Right. And it's a full <laughs> exercise for me. I'm tired. <laughs> when I'm done, I need water. <laughs> I need a rug down. <laughs> So it's real. (laughs) We have a shout out from Christy Matthews. And I want to give a shout out to Reginald Brassfield. He is from our sister station in Fayetteville, KDIV 98.7. Thank you for checking in. Thank you. Um, And Christy Matthews Conway says, hey, Dinah. (laughs) I love the activities that you all are implementing. Well, thank you for that. (laughs) All right. So in year two, week two, I mean, year two, week one, Mm -hmm. now this is for what age group? That is the four-year-old. Four-year-old. Mm-hmm. So at this point, they should be successful. They have, should have successfully completed year one. Mm-hmm. Which is 30 weeks. I okay. didn't tell you that. Okay. All of them, except week 15, week, week excuse me, age year five, five yeah. has 15 lessons. Okay. But the other two, year one and year four, they have 30 weeks. 30 weeks, okay. And so year two, week one, they will also be doing literacy, math, science, motor skills, 
and language. Mm -hmm. All right, and this also comes with a book called Sounds I Hear. Mm -hmm. Sounds I Hear, and I was flipping through, and it's amazing that things that we see and hear, mm -hmm. but sometimes we don't pay attention to. Right. It brings awareness. <laughs> it brings awareness. Yes, like for us, I guess as adults, it's just common. Mm -hmm. You know, just, oh, that's a dog, a car, or we don't take time to slow down. Like I see one about a bee. You know, how many people actually watch a bee and listen and to listen it? To it? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, now, fly, that's, hold on, that's a, <laughs> we can hear those. Yeah. Or we hear music, say we're in a store or an elevator, we hear the music, but do we really pay attention to the, the yeah, and the melody and the instruments and the different sounds? It's like white noise. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's just so commonplace that, you know, we don't pay attention to it, it's just another part of it's a part of our day, a part of our life. Right. And so um, what I'm getting from this book so far is it's helping kids to pay attention to sounds. Absolutely. And, um, and then, again, label where the sound comes from, what mm -hmm. animal, what object, what mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. right. So let's go through. We have like a minute, so I wanna, don't want to run out of time and get into too much. But um, also, let's see. Let's go through math. What can they expect in math for in this particular curriculum math you do sounds let's say if we had 10 pennies mm -hmm. and we had a pot you would every time that you would hear a penny hit the pot you would say what number it is okay. so let's say if it's one you, they would say one if you do two one two they would say it's two uh -oh. but then it causes them to have to listen because you can get a little fast with it you can drop four one two three four so it's we're wanting them to be able to listen okay. and that also helps with discipline in the home oh. if you are listening and we're talking about listening and if i tell you it's time for to go to bed you know remember our book about listening remember sounds i hear okay. do you hear mama sam mommy needs you to go to bed Wow. So it you know incorporates every aspect of their life. Oh wow, that is amazing. <laughs> you all take these lessons and really make them apply full yes, circle. Like you yes, they apply to every aspect of yes, the child's development. All right, so we're going to take a break right there. Okay. Uh, you tuned in to Community Conversations on Kelly K 102.5 FM. And thank you, Reginald, for your shout out. Um, thank you for the compliment. Uh, thank you all for whoever is all tuned in right now. Don't go away, and we'll be right back after these announcements. You're listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. We'll be right back. Are you equipped to lead your family well? I'm Mark Merrill with today's Family Minute. In life, your family may enjoy many successes, but will also face some failures as well. New Orleans Saints tight end Benjamin Watson says your job is to lead your family well through it all. Here are his three keys of family leadership. First, lead with love. To grow a loving family, you must lead by example. Start by loving your spouse well. This will show your kids what a loving relationship looks like. Second, lead with trust. Your kids need to trust that you will always be honest with them. Finally, lead with courage. Do what's right for your family, no matter how painful or uncomfortable it might be. So start leading your family today. And remember, your family first. Want to learn more about today's topic? Download my podcast at markmerrill.com. Family Minute is made possible by the Kappa Nu Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, a nonprofit organization committed to service to all mankind. Kappa Nu Omega Alpha Kappa Alpha on Facebook and K-N-O-M-E-G-A 1908.com. When life takes a wrong turn, what do you do? When things are looking at their worst, who do you turn to? KLEK 102.5 FM and Massey Productions presents the inspirational gospel stage play To Hell and Back, a story that will inspire you, renew and reaffirm your faith, featuring performers from all over Arkansas, Texas, and Louisiana. One big show, 12 noon, Saturday, September 16th at the Epic Center, 1899 County Road, 
1-800-333-3333, Hasbrook Road in Jonesboro. Tickets are $10 in advance, $15 at the door, and can be purchased at KLEK, Cool Cuts, The Epic Center, or by calling 870-277-1080. Bring the entire family, Saturday, September 16th, before the A-State UAPB game, to the Epic Center to see the inspirational gospel stage play, To Hell and Back. This event is a KLEK fundraiser. Support for KLEK is brought to you by Fullness of Joy Ministries, 2120 Thorn Street, Jonesboro, under the direction of Bishop Adrian Rogers and co-pastor Susan Rogers, www.fojministries.org. From the KLEK community calendar, there will be a free community workout every Sunday and Tuesday starting at 6 o'clock p.m. at Allen Park and every Thursday night, also starting at 6 o'clock p.m. at Parker Park. More information is available via Arlicia Baker at 870-273-3437. Do you like the music you hear on KLEK 102.5 FM? Do you like the educational programming that we provide? Do you like the service we provide to the community? Do you like having a station to finally call your own that represents you? If so, please stop by or call any of our underwriters or sponsors that you hear on KLEK and tell them thank you for their support. The support of our underwriters and sponsors is vital for us to stay on the air. So be sure to let them know that you thank them for their support. And now back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. All right. Welcome back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. You're tuned in with me, Quibilla Harden. We have Ms. Vicki O'Connor, Ms. Dinah Marshall. Hello, hello. And Ms. Cynthia Jeffrey. Let's say Vicki O'Connor, I got it right. <laughs> okay, so we we have been talking about the Hippie Arkansas um, program, and we've been going through some of the activities that the parents will actually mm-hmm. get engaged in mm-hmm. once they are signed up and um, are assigned to one of the home educators. Mm-hmm. And so... This stuff, even for me as an adult, it's kind of exciting. To, even though I know this, I could probably do this in my sleep. But getting to see it and see what the parents yes. will go through mm-hmm. with the child, it, I guess it gives me a, a certain level of excitement that now I have some insight on how I can interact with a child and help them learn numbers and letters and mm-hmm. colors and body parts and mm-hmm. a variety of things, objects around the house, around the their community Mm -hmm. um, and it's helping them to build their literacy skills their motor skills science and math and all that everything in between that's right Um, and what I also can see is helping the child build their conversational skills build like along with the literacy they're learning to read and recognize words Mm -hmm. but they're learning how to communicate with someone Mm -hmm. form complete Mm -hmm. semi-complete sentences Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know do you have any Okay, when you first get your child, you know, get set up with your family, do you expect the three-year-old to make a complete sentence? No. no okay. No. We don't, ex- we don't expect them to be able to even write their name. Okay. Yeah. This is something that we will see. We do um, up at the beginning of the year, like Miss Vicky said, we do the ASQ. Okay. And then we'll repeat that again in 10 weeks. It's something in the packet that we'll know, make sure that they are capable and that they're learning, and then we'll move forward after that. Okay. But no, we don't expect them to know everything okay. once we enter the home. Now, they are just graduate, I guess. And it's, I don't know what word to use. I'm sorry. Release from your program at what age? When they turn five or right before they go to kindergarten? They well, Once they enter kindergarten, then we uh, we just we, we do follow the child. But we don't go into the homes. Our our job is over. Okay. Or is that? Yeah. Now, at that point, after you've gone through X amount of weeks, you know, years with this child, and you notice that they either are not grasping the concepts, the lessons, they may have a slight learning disability. Mm-hmm. Do you make a recommendation to the parent? Mm-hmm. Yes, we do. It's okay. called a referral. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we yes, do a referral, ma'am. and it's called to, uh, the co-op is what we call it. And the co-op takes it from there, and then they introduce the um, to the teacher Yes, ma'am. when the kid transitions from hippie into the school. Okay. The co-op then follows them. Have you ever had to make a referral or request or... Suggest to the parent that their child is not ready, even though they're five, 
they're still not quite ready for kindergarten. Yes, we have. And I'll um, let Miss Diana or Miss Sticky talk about that one. Uh, well, <laughs> it's, well, here's the thing. I'll say it like this. If the parent it has been doing the lessons with their child mm-hmm. and has really been taking um, the program seriously, okay. by the t- at that point, they will know. Okay. And so, a lot of times, I remember, it's crazy, I remember Miss Cynthia having a child, um, and the parent was like, I just don't know, I'm not sure, and we didn't have to make the recommendation, okay. because the parent sees it. Um, it goes back to our purpose and our vision, or the um, kind of the mission statement of Hippie, okay. is to empower the parent to be the child's first teacher. If you're teaching a child, if you're working with the child, we won't have to recommend it. You'll see it before we do. Okay. Because you'll be doing you'll be putting in the work. Okay. I understand. So well, we do hope that every child that goes to this program is kindergarten yes, ready. Ma'am. And they are, and they are, su- yes, and they are successful in their journey and all the way through graduation of twelfth <laughs> Yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know, it doesn't stop at the twelfth grade. It doesn't stop when you graduate from college. This is a life problem. Okay, program. and so uh, I don't want to go into every single page or every single thing, but this is a really wonderful. Uh, can I take this? Home? Yes, I brought it for you. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take it home and do it myself. Yes. Okay, pass it to the little kids in your neighborhood. Tell uh, the parents we are still recruiting. Okay. Yes. Um, Yes, exactly. But I did want to get into the last one, Age 5, Packet 1. Okay. And this one has, you said, 15 weeks uh-huh. worth of lessons. And there's still the five different um, activities, which is early reading. And this one says early reading literacy. So by this point, they should be able to actually maybe read a book on their own. Well, the, their understanding is okay. probably a little bit better. The, you know, mm-hmm. the parent will read the book. But the open-ended question should be a little easy okay. by this point, yes, by the time that they reach the five-year-olds. Okay. Then this one has language and communications, mm-hmm. the writing corner. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they should be able to write their name in simple words. Letters. Just Let- letters. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, thinking and reasoning. Okay. That's a good one. Okay. So maybe now that they have an understanding of some different things, they can... Problem solve. Pro- okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And mathematics, where is it? And science, my senses. Oh, okay, so the five senses. Yes. Wow, okay. I'm interested. I'm very excited to go into this one. <laughs> to look at it from a child's perspective and see if I can, you know, see from their point of view what they would see. And then the book that goes with this is called Dan Goes to Kindergarten. <laughs> oh, wow. And I like that one. That one, To me, if I had a choice to pick a favorite, I would say your five is my favorite because this is really a hands-on. This is it acts exactly what you will be doing in kindergarten. Yes, uh, it has vocabulary words, so they have to find the word. Let's say if it was a word gate, they would have to find the word gate on the page that you, the parent would tell them that it's on. Okay. So they're recognizing words. They're being able to put those letters together and realize that letters do make a word. Okay, and I noticed in one of the packets that it had a list of vocabulary words. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing as they're reading the book, these are things, or was it in the book? No, uh, the vocabulary words. Oh, it's in the book. Uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. Okay, so in the book Sounds I Hear, these are actually words they should be looking out for uh-huh. and trying to recognize them. Uh-huh. And then at the top of that book is a note to parents. Okay. It's just a little, just a simple thank okay. you, you know, for being in the hippie program. These are some of the things that you're going to learn. Okay. Now, I do want to transition into another topic that goes along with this, uh-huh. which is discipline. So, you're there with the parent. You're engaging in these activities. Well, you notice some behavior that may not be so pleasing. Mm-hmm. And so, how do you help the parent to not go into full attack mode? Some parents are want to go into that, stop, don't, you know, mm-hmm. sit down, don't touch that, don't, you know, just that more anger, angry, negative mm-hmm way of discipline so how do you help the parent okay if you want your child to sit and learn for these few moments mm-hmm. how do you discipline them in a more positive nurturing way <laughs> and that is conscious discipline all right um, and conscious discipline is just teaching a child self-regulation how to control oh. their own emotions and a positive way to communicate with their peers or with the adult mm-hmm. um, 
talk for years on just about <laughs> even get half of it. Yes. Um, breathing techniques. Oh, yes. Um, but it is it's telling the child, you know, what you want them to do, not what you don't what, want what you do. don't want them to do. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Run. Okay. So we're going to use our walking yep. feet. Yeah. All um, right. So give us some examples. Um, you see a child that is literally bouncing around. I don't want to do that. No, I don't. I don't want to just. They're just. How do you rebellious? <laughs> Define it. How do you get started? <laughs> Give them a few minutes, put on some music, and let's move. Yes, ma'am. Let's move. Let's get, yes, those, get those wiggles out is a big one. Okay. Um, and give them a chance. You know, we're going to do this for five minutes, and then we're going to come back and work for two minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if you can answer again, we're going to go back, and we're going to do this active, just jumping around for five minutes, mm -hmm. and then we're going to come back and do this for two minutes. Okay. Right. And it's amazing at what that can do for you. Okay. And it also helps the kids to problem solve between each other. Yes, uh, if a little, if Johnny hits Kim, and she Kim's come to come tell me, <laughs> Kim comes to tell me, then we will get those two together, and Johnny and Kim are going to talk that out. She's going to look at him and say, "I do not like it that you hit me." Okay. And we just make them responsible of their actions and teach them how to handle their own issues. Together without always having to involve an adult. Okay, and I know um, when you talk about the ASQ, Q, yes, ma'am. Um, you go through some of the emotional things. Yes, um, there's a whole packet of social and emotional um, questions. Okay, so once you, the parent is the one that's at answering these questions. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, so do you, as you're engaging with the parent and the child, do you try to recognize some of the things that the parent said and see if you can. Try to see if you can recognize what the parents mm -hmm. said <laughs> and then try to help them work through that issue. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You can learn a lot just by observing. Right? Okay. Right. Um, you may see something that the parent doesn't see mm -hmm. or, you know, the parent because they would, you know, they don't act like that when you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've, well, when no one's here, they don't do that. <laughs> they, uh, do you, so, okay. <laughs> Again, that's where you teach the conscious discipline technique. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we leave, then you'll have the tools to work with while we're, you know, we're mm -hmm. not there. And then we're always available for phone calls. You know, you can call us and say, look, this is just not working. Can you come back out and work with us and show us how we can do this again? Mm -hmm. So we can. And some of your cases, have you ever seen a parent overreact, like right in front of you, in a way that, yeah. like, oh my. Yeah, yeah. well definitely, and you know what, those are good opportunities for us to see, because when we see that, then we can say, okay, let's talk about what we can do different. Mm -hmm. okay. Not to tell them that they're doing it wrong, but let's talk about what we can do different. So you want, your anxiety level won't go up as well as okay. your child's It's anxiety. the same tools. You use the same tools with the parents as you would want the parents to use with the children. Okay. So if you see a parent overreacting, you know, no, 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 we don't talk to our children like that. You know, you would okay. dare, you know, use that tone. But you would just kind of madly um, give suggestions okay. on a different way. Uh, one of the first things we talk about is the um, correct, confirm, complete. Yes. And so if a child, if you're working with a child um, doing the lesson and the child, you say, what color is this? And they say pink and it's clear as day is blue. And, you know, you would say, no, you know, that's not pink. Yes. It's blue. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's not how you would correct the child. Oh, is that pink? I think that may be blue. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else is blue in the room, you know. And so instead of... Um, discouraging the child well you should know this by now um you know no well okay well let's look at it again if this is one two three very good that okay. is a three i now what comes after three four five Okay. 17. And that's you know. building their self -esteem. yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. and so you want to you i guess you just kind of want to encourage what you see good like miss vicky said a few minutes ago you just want to continue to encourage what you see good okay. and um don't focus so much on the negative thing but bring your attention to the positive right. things you see and in that also when you say a parent overreact you think self-regulation mm -hmm. right. recognize in yourself when yes, you're ready to explode yes, so you can take that moment and take a step back and take that deep breath mm -hmm. and okay. 
Yes. And then or go 20. back. Or, <laughs> or, or 50 <laughs> or say okay you know what Johnny um, we're going to revisit this tomorrow okay. you know it's been five minutes um, you're not you're not ready to do this tonight then, and that's okay I think that's one of the things fine. we work mm -hmm. to tell the parents listen if it's been five minutes and Johnny just cannot get it together right. it's okay. okay you know because you don't want to force this on them you don't want them to be discouraged you want this to be a fun time for them right. so okay. if Johnny's not ready let's just come back we'll come back right. to it you know right. not tonight in the morning maybe during breakfast when we're eating breakfast, we can do this activity. If they get frustrated, you get frustrated. That's right. If you're frustrated, mm -hmm. they get frustrated. That's right. Yeah, energy. Energy. Anybody, any good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some negative aspects of this one. I know at three, four, and five, you won't do the same thing as you will with a child older. Um, you know, some parents discipline by go in your room and read. Or, yes, ma'am. Um, take away certain activities, take away objects. Mm -hmm. um, at three, four, and five, I'm sure you would handle them a little bit differently. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, some people used to use timeout or the naughty chair or, you know, other things similar. So what are... Mm -hmm. We don't call it timeout and we don't call it the naughty chair. Okay. It could, you, let's go and sit and talk this out. Let's go think. You could use a timer that has color for sand in it. If it's red on the bottom and it's, it's green on top, then when all the red goes down to the bottom, then we should be calmed down okay. by then. So we use things that are visible that they can see. Okay. To, for for us calming down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you suggest like that big digital clock up there? You know, when the number turns. Absolutely. To, to mm -hmm. whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that's teaching numbers as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, yes. I had a timer in my classroom. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Transition. Into his classroom without it. Yes, right. ma'am. And it, it was. Just a big timer, and it was red. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you had it set for ten minutes, that ten minutes is red, and they watched the red trickle down. And I used it for everything. Every like transition. Everything. Yes, ma'am. Our, our uh, gross motor is for thirty minutes. I'd set it for thirty minutes, and mm -hmm. we watch it go down. And they knew when that timer went off, it's time to transition. Mm -hmm. Okay. I used it for lunch time. I used it for literally every single thing. In, mm -hmm. it, in the home, you, you use a timer for, you know, um, okay, it's 7.30, we're going to work on our hippie at 8, so you get to finish watching this show, you know, for okay. parents that may not have a timer, um, we're going to finish watching this show, when this show goes off, then we're going to spend five minutes doing our hippie, okay. you know, then we'll we'll brush our teeth and we'll get ready for bed, so... Um, a, a good way to help a child get ready to do hippie is to have them some trans, have transition opportunities available for them. And okay. so, you know, if you don't have a timer, then when this show goes off or when mommy finishes putting away the dishes, it'll be time. You know, they just give them time to um, settle in their hearts and in their minds. Okay, I'm getting ready to go from this activity to this activity, and that helps. Okay. And we also do a time countdown, uh, like yes. Dinah said. Uh, no. If it's if you are working on something for ten minutes, you say, okay, we have five more minutes. That's right. And after that five more minutes, okay, we're down to two minutes. Yes, ma'am. So you just all the way down until okay, we're ready. It's time for us to close the book and let's move on. Yes. Okay. Now, as far as expectations, what do you try to instill in parents, you know, as far as what to expect? Um, say they're working on discipline technique. The child may not get it the first two, three, five times. <coughs> How do you help the parent, <laughs> you know, with their expectations? What, what are some realistic expectations? You have to be patient. Patience is key. Every child is not the same. That's okay. right. Yeah, I know in the classroom, and like Miss Cynthia was talking earlier, the positive communication and setting them down and letting them talk to each other and talking to that. We, we so often hear parents and hear teachers say, use your words. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily have those words yet. Right. We okay. have to give them the words. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it starts from there. You teach mm -hmm. them, you know, I say, Donna took Cynthia's toy. Mm -hmm. Well, Cynthia's over here milking down. She's having her a little fit. <laughs> I want my toy. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna uh, bring that communication together. Okay. And you're gonna acknowledge. I see that you're upset. 
why are you upset? Can you tell Dinah why you are upset? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's going to go. Role play. Role play. That's what role exactly. play is. Role um, play. When we're playing, when Cynthia is the parent and I'm the child, and she says, um, Pack your one may say, um, Well, what is this? And I say, I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> and as the parent, Cynthia may say, Well, Johnny, you know, we're gonna we only have two more minutes and then we'll well I don't want to you know and this this is me I, I'm a grown adult but in role play I'm showing I'm showing Cynthia that this is how Johnny acts okay. when I do this when I do this uh packy with him and so then she's able to give me um very realistic feedback of, of how to deal with my attitude and so then once Cynthia you know begins to work with me and she begins to kind of challenge my my behavior then the parent says oh well I've never tried that before okay. I'll try that tonight you know okay. maybe I'll say this oh, we do it all in role play yeah, that's and, that's, right. and that's why role play is so important because it's it's also a way for the parents to express to the home based educator what kind of challenges they're facing when they're doing the packets with their child. Okay, I just had a thought. Do you feel that the by applying these different techniques, it teaches the child consistency? Absolutely. Um, even it would as they grow up. They will see their parent in a more positive light. Absolutely. Not someone who's only nice during this time, right. but someone that I can trust and go to for any situation mm -hmm. in yes. life. Mm -hmm. um, instead of, say, they get to the age of 10 and they think back, well, if I go to mom and dad with this, they're going to blow up, they're going to react mm -hmm. in whatever way. But when right. it comes to my grades or education, they're happy with that. But, right. you know, when it comes to something else, mm -hmm. they may react. And so mm -hmm. the child eventually shuts down. And, okay. All right, so we're gonna stop right there again and take another quick break. When we come back, we're just gonna wrap up uh, some of the activities and anything else that you all feel like we need to touch on. We want people to really get excited about this program. Enrollment is still going on, so yes, yes it is. Let's get the young, the young people enrolled and the families engaged, and let's get everybody happy, healthy, and ready for kindergarten. So we'll be right back. You're listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. We'll be right back. We're back with Money Matters. I'm Alfred Edmund Jr. Your number one savings goal is to establish an emergency fund to be touched only in case of unemployment, needed car repairs, or anything else tied to your ability to earn income. Without this fund, which should equal at least six months of your living expenses, you'll likely resort to more desperate and costly measures to cope, including using your credit cards and even dipping into your retirement fund. But once you commit to building this fund, what steps should you take? First, automate the process as much as possible. Have at least 10% of your paycheck automatically transferred to your emergency fund every payday. Set a specific savings goal. You need to know how much six months of your living expenses is to the penny. Or you can go with half of your annual pre-tax income as a goal. Don't worry about earning interest. The point of the fund is not return on investment. It's having ready access to cash in case of emergency. I'm Alfred Edmund Jr. for Money Matters, a product of American Urban Radio Networks. Money Matters is made possible by the Jonesboro Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, a nonprofit organization dedicated to uncompromising commitment to communities. Service, leadership, empowerment. www.jonesboroalumni.dst.org. Money Matters is brought to you by Bancorp South, offering checking, savings, loans, credit cards, and wealth management. Five locations in Jonesboro to serve you. www.bancorpsouth.com or 870-972-9800. Attention members and guests, the Jonesboro Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated presents Animal Instinct, the post-game party, Saturday, September 16th, after the A-State UAPB football game at Legends Barbecue Smokehouse, 1025 West Johnson Avenue in Jonesboro, from 9 o'clock p.m. until 1 o'clock a.m. This is a 21 and up event. A portion of the proceeds will benefit the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. More information is available via any member of the Jonesboro Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. 
KLEK thanks C.J. Pepper and the staff of Life Strategies Counseling Incorporated for helping people through hard times in life such as depression, family issues, stress, abuse, and more. They offer counseling and therapy for all ages, individuals, families, and groups. They are located at 1217 Stone Street, phone number 1-866-972-1268, or online at lscihelp.com. Starks Auto Plaza, your pre-owned superstore, is a longtime supporter of KLEK. 2829 Red Wolf Boulevard, Starks offers clean, reliable vehicles of all makes and models. Starks also offers no-hassle pricing, friendly service, financing options with approved credit. At Starks, you're always family, and our motto is, we never say no. 870-203-9980. StarksAutoPlaza.com. Arkansas Early Learning prepares children up to five years old for kindergarten by offering a secure learning environment. Qualified teachers at several locations in Northeast Arkansas at no cost. Applications are available at arearlylearning.org. Arkansas Early Learning is a nonprofit organization. Did you know KLEK has a brand new streaming app? That's right, you can listen to KLEK 102.5 FM anywhere in the world. The app is available for all Android phones and tablets, as well as iPhones and iPads. Just search your app store for KLEK and download the KLEK app for free today. And don't miss a beat of the education, entertainment, and empowerment on KLEK 102.5 FM. And now back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. Conversations. Oh my gosh, I totally missed my. <laughs> We're having such a good conversation. I missed my spot. <laughs> Please forgive me, you all. Um, thank you, Christy Mathis, for pointing. Christy Mathis, come on, for pointing that out. We also have. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> another shout out for Miss Barbara Ann McDaniel. It says, okay. "Good morning, ladies. Good Hippies, morning. an awesome program. I used to do it with my son." Oh. Um, and then shout out to Samantha Davis, Toya Thompson Barnes, and Maddie Warren for today. Hey, <laughs> good morning, guys. <laughs> all right, so all right, so let's wrap up um, in our last few moments. Um, any information that we did not cover that you feel is vital for people to know? Yes, we have sixty-six children that are enrolled. We can have up to eighty-one. Our goal is eighty-four. You can contact contact us at the. Kids Spot Learning Center behind Walmart. 1801 Grant Street. The 1801 Grant Street, which is behind Walmart on Holland. Okay. Yes, we are 870 974 9128, um, extension 124 129. All right. Or 974 9114. Same extension. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, and then you also have a Facebook page that we can look you up on. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, do you have one spe specifically for Jonesboro? We have a kid's spot. Uh -huh. kid we have spot. a kid's spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. They so go on kid's spot, uh, they can find information about our kid's spot, Hippie. And then you can go on the website, www.hippieusa. Hippieusa. Mm -hmm. Is it .org or .com? .org. .org. Mm -hmm. And then you can search for locations that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. In your uh, district. In so your there's family. all kinds of ways. You have no excuse not to get in touch with these ladies. No. Mm -hmm. no. And get signed up and get these babies, you know, on a good start. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I exactly. need to hear from you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Any final thoughts from you, ladies? Uh, Miss Vicky and Miss Dinah. Go ahead. 
we just want um, the children to to benefit from this program. When when you teach children how to be confident in themselves, I've said it a million times, and I'll continue to say it. You you do way more. Um, for them than you could ever imagine. Confidence comes from spending time with your parents. Right. They have confidence. If your parent teaches them to be confident in themselves and they encourage them to speak out, they'll give right answers. When they give right answers, they'll learn more. When they learn more, they'll do more. And it's great. So okay. we just really want parents to consider that um, <clears throat> and don't be discouraged by, you know, 30 week program. You know, we work with you. We do our best to make sure that we can get you through the program. Okay. We understand life happens. You know, yeah. we have inclement weather, you know, things happen. So we right. understand those things. We work with you, but let's get together and let's make sure our children have a successful future. Okay. Ms. Vicky? I, I think that I just said it all. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I would like to say, uh, being that Hippie is um, in the United States, we would like to let Houston and the Florida Keys know Absolutely. that we are in our thoughts. Absolutely. They're in our thoughts and they're in our prayers. And if they need anything, they are more than willing to contact us here in Arkansas. Now, Cynthia, isn't uh, will Kid Spot be doing? Kid Spot will sponsor with Hippie, and we'll be doing some things in the community for. Yes, uh, we are. Matter of fact, I think today may be the last day. We hooked up with the Red Cross, okay. and we sent out uh, clothing. Uh, we sent out toys for the children, colors, and coloring books. So that's right. You know, we we are thinking about them, and I do want them to know that. All right, so um, if anyone wants to, you know, be a part of this collection, mm -hmm. uh, please go over to Hitspot mm -hmm. and, yes. and, you know, take your items. I'm, I'm sure they can use whatever. 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 Sure. Right. whatever. These hurricanes whatever. have been awful yes. on these yes. different areas, and people mm -hmm. have lost literally every everything. Single thing. And mm -hmm. I don't think the kids are in school yet, so we need to definitely keep them in our prayers and our thoughts. Yes. So we thank you all so much for everything that you did. Thank you, Lavina. This is the second time you've had us back, and we want to thank you so and much. And we had so and much fun. Community. Yes, Come out and enroll your children. I have totally enjoyed I feel like a kid again, even though my child is way over the limit. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I've learned quite a few things because... Sometimes my patience level gets the best as yeah, well. Yes, you're um, human. Yes, we now are. I can say if I'm at church and I'm mm -hmm. engaging with the little, I call them little people. Yes, uh, two, three year olds. I can now better engage with them. Absolutely. On an educational level, but make it fun. Yes, they don't realize they're learning at the same yes, time. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yes. maybe it'll help them become more disciplined as far as they can sit down and do more structured things mm -hmm. versus bouncing all over the place. Mm -hmm. And one more thing before we leave. Yes. Uh, we, the girls have a, the ladies have an interview tomorrow okay. with uh, KISS FM. Mm -hmm. They will have be there 645. at 6.45 and at 8.30. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So right we place. are in the community yes. and we are on the move. And proud of it. And proud <laughs> of it. I'm so happy that the community is so open and warm. Oh, yes, yes ma'am. Engaging. Um, we have enough children, enough families. Yes, absolutely. Yes, 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 and overbooked. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we are definitely mm -hmm. getting the word out. Yes, that's yes. amazing. So yes. we thank you all so much for coming. Thank and you, I you hope for that, inviting us. I hope that everyone has a blessed day out there. Um, you know, it is a little wet. Hopefully it's okay it's though. Soon, but you know what? We need a little rain. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can't complain, though, compared to what he's yes, doing. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Oh, yes. We're fortunate. I'll take this little drizzle on today. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Right. <laughs> so, anyway, we thank you all. And I hope you have a very blessed day. Okay. All right. And tune in tomorrow. I don't know who my guest is yet, but tune in tomorrow. We'll be here. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.